Anything is possible. It started with a dream. Our passion made a difference and built a family. We've grown strong together. You know. Hello everyone, it's Donna Gray here, your Stamping Up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. I'm so super excited to be bringing you one of my technique videos. So I hope you're enjoying the series that I'm doing here on YouTube. And here is another awesome technique. So let's get stamping. Hello everybody. Welcome to another technique video. I hope you're loving my technique series. I have a series of die cuts here and I've strategically got them placed in bundles so I know where we're at. And I'm using the Painted Poppies and the Peaceful Moments stamp set and framelits to do uh, this technique. So this technique is called the inlaid die cutting technique. So I used the framelits, the dies from the gorgeous Peaceful Moments. They have a beautiful flower, some leaves. So I've cut a couple of pieces of things here and I'm just gonna go with the flow. The beauty of the inlaid die technique is that you will get double the amount of cards when you actually use this process of, um, of making your cards so because you'll have the negative and you'll have the positive out of the die cuts and you'll understand as I go along so I've chosen a, a beautiful color combination here I've got some Rococo rose some so saffron and some white so I've got and I've cut out a series of flowers and I will use the opposite on each card so you'll see in a moment how that's going to work so i've got some whisper white thick cardstock here it is cut at five and three quarter inches this way by eight inches that way and we're going to fold that in half to be our card base and we're going to crease that with our bone folder and we're going to pop that aside so we're going to do that with both of our card bases so that we're ready to go when we've got these beautiful pieces of um, flowers all put together. Okay, so the other thing that I have as well is I have one uh, front layer that I'm going to back with my Sahara sand and you'll see that I've got a tiny minute border all the way around. And I've also got another layer that I'm going to do for my second card that will be backed with the Rococo Rose, okay? So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take these two pieces of Whisper White and I'm going to do a little bit of sponging with just this beautiful cut out piece of, this is where I cut my leaves out and I thought, you know what, this would be great to do a little bit of a background to start off with as well. So what I want to do is just grab one of my oval makeup brushes. Got to make sure I've got no color there. Okay, so on one of them, I'm actually going to do this great leaf pattern with the so saffron. Uh, sorry, Sahara sand. And on the other one, I'm going to use the gorgeous Rococo rose. I'm just going to pop my pieces up there so I don't lose any of them because I've got them all sorted, because this will take a little bit of time when you go to put things together. So I'm just going to grab my Sahara Sand ink pad, and I'm just going to pop these leaves arranged on my card here in no specific combination. I'm just going to do that, and I just want to get a little hint of that colour onto the front of my card. Now, you may not see that, but can you see up close? We're getting a beautiful little subtle hint of these gorgeous leaves. So this is um, called stenciling sponge work, okay? So we're going to get a beautiful pattern happening. Just a very, very subtle pattern. We don't wanna see it really obviously. We just want a really subtle pattern in the background just to take away that stark white look off the front of our card. So it's as simple as that. Now you may see I'm gonna use the same template and I'm going to use 
my Rococo Rose and you will see the same thing, but it will be a little bit more obvious in the Rococo Rose. So once again, bringing in <clears throat> that second piece of Whisper White and I'm just going to arrange those. I'm going to use one of my sponges that I've already used with this color before, which I think that could be it. Okay. So we're just going to ink up some Rococo Rose and we're just going to lightly sponge through that. Now, can you see? You can see it a little bit more obvious in the Rococo Rose color. So I'm just going to assemble them around on the front of my card, no particular way. I'm just rotating how they look on the front of my card. All right, so we're gonna do another we might do some up in through there. Pardon the sirens going off. I don't know whether you can hear that in the background. There's sirens going off in my home area at the moment, which is not ever a good sign. I don't like hearing sirens like that. Okay, so we've got that. And I'll pop another couple down through there. So I'm actually probably bringing you a couple of techniques here and I'll just pop a couple of little pieces up through there. Okay, so there we have our background in the Rococo Rose. So we have one in our Sahara Sand and one in our Rococo Rose. All right, so what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to show you how I'm going to pull these flowers apart and get a bit of a different look. So I've got a Rococo Rose and it's got the outline part and it also has all of the pieces here for the in in insert part as well. Um, okay, so I'm also going to grab the Whisper White one that I have here in the same process. Okay, so I've got a Whisper White and I've got a Rococo Rose. So I've got the pieces out of the Whisper White, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to glue, oops, and I just dropped one. Okay, I'm going to glue, glue the inserts of the opposite colors into the flower on the front of my card. So what I'm actually gonna do with this one is I'm gonna glue it down with some liquid Tombow. I'm gonna to glue it down onto the front of my card. So I'm gonna pop some Tombow just on these little bits and where I can on the edges, where you've got a little bit of room. Okay, and we're going to pop that nicely down onto our card like that, okay? And what I'm going to do is I have these gorgeous Whisper White pieces. So we're going to pop a little bit of glue into the insert part here. So you can see that. I'm gonna pop a little bit of glue just in all of those inserts. And we're gonna grab our pieces and we're gonna, it's just like a jigsaw puzzle. We're going to pop our white pieces in. So it is best to use something like your take your pick tool with the putty end that you can maybe line up the shape and work out which one is what. And it is like a puzzle piece. Okay, so let's find one that's really, this one here is really, really easy. So I can see that that one there is going to fit exactly in there. Okay, so because you've got your glue laid down, we can just pop that in there and we're going to get a beautiful insert of our flower. So this one here looks like it could be this piece, which it is. So we're gonna insert that one in there. This one here. Um, what does that one look like? This one here looks like it could be that piece there, which it is. So you can see I'm just placing it in and because I've got my glue already laid down there, it's really easy to place them in and get them where they need to be. And this one here looks like this piece. Okay. This one here is this piece. That one there must be that piece there, which it is. 
So you can see you've got this gorgeous, beautiful flower that we have just built using the negative and the positive, all right? So we're going to grab, we've got one of these gorgeous little um, white ones here, but I think I'm gonna do it the opposite way around. I'm gonna do the white on here. So I'm gonna glue the white down. Just like so. And then we'll be able to pop our inserts in. So we've got the white glued down. Okay, pop some glue into all those insert pieces where we need it to be. Okay. And then we're going to take this gorgeous couple of pieces here and we're going to place them in. So it is better if you can keep it in your um, die cut, making sure you've got it the right way up, which is that way. Ah, that piece wants to be A little bit cantankerous but you can see if you take your pick tool you can move it around and you can get it into place and get it to sit into there where it needs to be okay this one here looks like it could be that piece there which it is this one here looks like it could be that piece there so you can see with the white against the um, Rococo rose, you can start to see definitely how you're putting these pieces together. So I've still got some pieces in here, which is great. So I'm going to that tiny little piece there, try and pick that up with my take your pick tool. That's a tiny, tiny little piece. It's gonna go in there, which we got it there like that. Okay, so this piece here, we can pick it up out of our die cut, hopefully. No, nope. doesn't want to come out that easy. There we go. So that, I'm going to place it in here. This one here. Yep, I'm going to do this one. So it is a little bit time consuming, but it's not too bad. And this one hasn't cut out real well, but we'll get it there. There we go. That one can go into there. This one. Gonna trim a little bit. That one's a little bit, it didn't quite cut through. There. Okay, that one. Go in there. We've got two little pieces to go. So we have that one which goes in there. And we have this one left, which will go into that one. Okay, so into there like that. So you can see you've got two gorgeous flowers there. Now I'm going to, I've cut out a combination of these leaves. So we've got this leaf and this leaf, which can go on top of each other and give us that gorgeous combination. So I'm actually going to glue those onto each other. So just with a little tiny bit of Tombow, just on the back of those leaves. You could use some of the double-sided adhesive 
um, on the back, some adhesive sheets on the back of these to make it a little bit easier. It's totally up to you. You have the worry though of if you're using the adhesive sheets of getting it to cut through exactly the way you want it. So um, I tend to, I don't mind just popping it on with my liquid glue. Okay, so we've got that gorgeous leaf. So I'm actually going to pop that gorgeous leaf coming down through here. Just with some liquid Tombow down through there. Okay. And we also have another combination of that one that we can do, which we might do uh, maybe the opposite way. We might do that one with the white. Okay. So once again, layering up a little bit of Tombow onto the back of those leaves that we can layer that onto the other leaf. Okay, like that. And I think that one's going to probably go up through there like that. And then I'm gonna pop a sentiment in the middle. All right, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue onto the back of those and cross that over just like that. Okay. So there we have a pretty gorgeous card coming together already. Absolutely stunning. So we're going to layer that one up onto our beautiful Rococo Rose layer. Just like that. Okay, and now what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to um, grab a punch and we will do one of the sentiments out of the peaceful moments. What have we got? Um, that one there might fit. Thinking of you with all my heart. So I'm just going to grab a scrap piece of Whisper White and stamp that with my Rococo Rose. Thinking of you with all my heart. So like so. Grab my gorgeous I think it's called lovely label punch. Label me fancy punch, that one there. And then I'm also going to grab a piece of our Rococo Rose and punch the same label out. Okay. And then I'm going to mount those up together. So I'm just going to use, I'm going to get rid of that. So we don't have that grotty piece there. I'm going to mount those up with some dimensionals. Okay. Just like so. And pop that up onto the Rococo Rose layer. that and I'm then going to just with our um, rose twine I'm going to add a little bit of rose twine on the back of that card just to add a little bit of interest in behind that sentiment so double-sided tape and take off the backings Grab your rose metallic thread. Wrap it around your fingers probably about, I don't know, 10 times. Trim it off and then just place that. Um, okay, so I'm going to go up and down that way. 
like so. Place it into your double-sided tape on the back. And you're going to get, I just want to trim that very bit off there. Okay. And then pop that up onto dimensionals. And we'll pop that onto that layer. Just like so. And then I will pop that up onto my card base. So I will just, with some liquid glue, pop that into the middle of that Whisper White card base. But you can see there, you've got some great interest happening with that card. Now for the second card, I'm just going to do something a little bit um, simpler than that. So I'm going to do that. I've got a Whisper White layer. Ah, that's right, our Whisper White layer here that we've stamped beforehand that we've done that gorgeous background on. So we're going to layer those up. Just like so. We're going to take this gorgeous Whisper White layer and we're going to fill those in with our um, pink layers. So I'm going to glue that down. I actually want to glue some of these down in behind. So I actually want to glue, I'm thinking I want to glue that one and that one, just like that. Because the these colored pieces are going to cover them up as well. So just going to pop some Tombow on the back of those and lay them down first. Then I'm gonna lay down my flower on top. So one there. Oop, let it take hold. And then another one, the finer one. And we'll pop that one down there like that. Okay, now we're going to, with our Tombow, we're going to lay the Tombow on the outside die cut and pop it down there like that. Okay, now once again, inlay some glue into those pieces. And again, it will be just like doing a jigsaw puzzle piece again. That one there goes in there. That one there goes in there. And the more you do this and the more you get used to what pieces are what in your flower, um, the easier you will find putting these pieces in because you'll get used to where the shapes go. That one goes there. Nope, that one doesn't go there. <laughs> Sorry, that one goes there. What was I just saying? <laughs> the more you do this, the easier it will be it is. Okay, so that one in there. This piece goes in up over there. And this piece here goes in here. Now what I'm going to do on this one, just to add a little bit of interest, we have this uh, stamp that comes out of our painted poppy stamp. 
it's like a bit of a burst of um of color uh, like a color splotch so i'm actually going to do that just in the middle of my flower just to create a little bit of interest in the middle of that flower okay now i'm also going to pop another sentiment on the front of this one and i think i'm just going to take a scrap piece of paper whisper white again I'm going to ink up that one in um, the same saying, but I think I'm going to do it instead of in the Rococo Rose, I'm going to do it in our um, Sahara Sand, just so that it can bring a bit of that Sahara Sand color into our project. So I'm just gonna ink that up, thinking of you with all my heart. I'm going to use that punch again and punch that one out. So thinking of you with all my heart. I'm then going to grab a piece of our Sahara sand. And punch out a Sahara sand background piece. So one like that. And once again, I'm going to layer those. I'm going to pop that up with some dimensionals. and onto that sentiment layer like that. I'm going to do the same thing again with my rose twine so that it will bring that color into our project from the flower. Okay. And I still have one more flower there that I can use on another project ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to, I won't be doing that today, but I'm, I still have more. So this is the beauty of it. You can play around and you can have some of these um, flowers all cut with the pieces and you can swap and change out the different colors and get different color schemes. And if you've got all your pieces all pre-cut first beforehand, it is quite fun and quite relaxing to be able to um, create some fun. Okay, so I'm going to pop that into the back of that, pop some more dimensionals onto the back of that sentiment. Take off my backings. And I'm going to pop that sentiment down here on that bottom. And then I'm going to, with my liquid glue, pop that onto the front of my card. And there I have a second card using some of those cut out pieces and getting a totally different look once again. So there you have a really quick, easy way of doing the inlaid die technique, but also using our um, negative from cutting out our dies to create a gorgeous background as well. So hopefully you like that. If this is the first time you've watched my YouTube channel, please feel free to hit the subscribe button down in the right hand corner and make sure you click that bell notification. All of the products that I have used today can be you um, can be purchased through my online store and I really appreciate your business. So if you like what you see and you want to get your hands on it, I use the Peaceful Moments 
bundle, the stamp set and the framelits. And I also use the painted poppies as well. I use this gorgeous spray out of the painted poppies. So any of these items, as I said, are available in my online store. And I would really appreciate if you wanted to buy some craft supplies, you will find the information for my online store. The link is down below in the show more box. And I also take phone orders. So the phone number will be down there as well. So if you don't want to place an order over the internet, I'm quite happy to take your phone call and place an order in person over the phone. So thank you everyone. And um, until next time, bye for now. Makes a difference in me and you. Thirty years of inspiration.